Five Republican presidential hopefuls squaring off tonight in Miami at the third GOP debate. Former President Donald Trump once again declining to participate. His top rival, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, will be front and center on the debate stage. Ron DeSantis, as we've all come to know, is a fighter. He fights for what's right. But unlike everybody else on the stage, he has a record to prove that he doesn't just fight, he wins. DeSantis is still second to Trump in early polls, but Nikki Haley, former U.N. ambassador and former South Carolina governor, has been gaining momentum, both vying to be Trump's main challenger in the Iowa caucuses. Her message is resonating. She is talking about her vision for this country. She is talking about a strong America, a proud America. DeSantis and Haley already butting heads on issues like the Israel-Hamas war and abortion rights, which will no doubt be a hot-button issue just as it was on Election Day yesterday. Democrats winning big in Kentucky, Ohio and Virginia. DeSantis supports a six-week abortion ban in Florida and a 15-week abortion ban nationwide. Haley has called federal bans on abortion unrealistic. What's the sweet spot? How do Republicans message this? Because we've seen it time and again when it goes to the voters, the Republican, the conservative position does not work. It doesn't carry in red states, blue states, purple states. So what do you do about that? Tech entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy and Senator Tim Scott also hoping to make their mark. Former Vice President Mike Pence recently suspending his presidential campaign, admitting this wasn't his time. Trump has said he won't participate in the debates because of his large lead in the polls. As this debate is going on, he'll be holding a campaign rally several miles away from here. Rena Roy, ABC News, Miami.